How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So why don't we go ahead and go finish up Reflection Part 2, see what happens. wonder if we're going to get any emails like we did last time at the end of this. A new day arrives. Sayori arrives at the club room earlier than usual. That is, not late. <laughs> As she enters, it appears to be empty still. So, she sits down at a desk and pulls out a sheet of paper primed to jot down her thoughts. Sari has made a habit of scribbling her thoughts and feelings onto paper whenever possible, as it tends to serve as her best inspiration for poetry. That's a damn serious look, Sayori. My heart feels vacant because a ship sailed the way... Okay. Metaphorical now. Yo! Oh. Um. Okay. I... What the hell is this music? Yeah! Natsuki! Natsuki pokes her head out from behind the closet door. I'm imagining this one's going to... Pink Fox is just like right over here behind the game Hi. stuff. Yeah, right there. I imagine she's probably going to cringe at the voices I'm about to do for Sayori and Monica. Well, I mean, that's what you get for not doing this with me. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. But it would have been a lot more awkward if I didn't say anything. I doubt you will be listening in on your poetry thing. I'll give her a sec to strip down. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. No, I'm, I'm teasing. You be quiet. Yeah. Okay, let me pull this a little bit closer. This is not usually showcase, but you know what? Who cares? Yeah, thanks for realizing that. Should I let you finish that up then? No crap. Oh, no. It wasn't. I mean, I just do it whenever it's convenient. You're not interrupting. Okay. Where's Monica, by the way? Up your bud to the right. Hold on, let me check my butt. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, that was... Oh, oh, oh okay. He's just kidding. Well, no, duh. <laughs> oh, she's out in the hallway. Huh? Why? That's not scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that's you. Yuri. Oh boy. Sometimes Yuri is too nervous to come into the club room by herself, so. Hmm. Oh. Oh boy. Geez! Does Yuri really let things bother her for that long? Unfortunately, yeah. Given her yep. personality and her circumstances, unfortunately, yeah. And you think I'm like Yuri? No. You said that in the past. When? Probably parts of, of her. Then probably parts of her, but I highly doubt that. She not that can't part. Control her feelings. <laughs> Are you in trouble? I'm not answering that question. So you are? No. I mean, <laughs> I said I wouldn't answer. I do not answer questions in these videos. <laughs> For some, <laughs> you just smacked my shoulder, you. Old. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> for some people, it for some people it's really hard to cope when you get a bad thought in your head. Yeah. He knows this from experience. Yeah. Maybe you can distract yourself for a little while. And I answered that because that technically wasn't a question. Eyes. <laughs> Yes, he has been. 
Yeah, the lick is back on her ear. Ah, oh, <laughs> now it's not. Now it's on my neck. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I just want to have a normal club meeting. For once in their life. It's a lot easier. Did you just sarcastically say something? Yes. How dare you? I'm just trying to get my feelings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a this lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all just ignore it and move on. Like I just did. <laughs> Shut up! You're crazy, Natsuki! No, I'm not! You're crazy! You're psychotic! Sayuri, shut up! You shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be bothered by this. You don't want to be bothered by anything! <laughs> it's so stupid. Her opinion of me just doesn't matter anyway. Why do you think she ran off because you hurt her feelings? No, I hurt myself and then ran out. I ran through the door. She must have seen if she could fit through the hole. <laughs> what? I ran through the door like a cartoon character. I assumed she was trying to fit through the hole, so I just guessed. <laughs> okay, so you're lying, Dorky. Besides, it makes me feel really guilty, and I hate that, too. Mm. It's okay to have feelings. No, it's not! Natsuki doesn't have any feelings, though! <laughs> I mean, you're technically not wrong about that. Natsuki! <laughs> Sorry, but I couldn't help myself. <laughs> it doesn't make you weak. Oh, wait, you are weak, aren't you? Fuck you, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Wait, you can't have your boyfriend do that? I mean, I'd prefer if you didn't. Alright, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's figure this out together. Fine. See if I care. Only because you're good at this stuff. I suck at it! That's why I ran through the door! Ow! I'm... Marty, I have temporary lost hearing in one ear, and he's trying to make me lose my hearing in my other ear. <laughs> Unplug... Plug your ear... Uh, plug your ears! Maybe... Maybe you can sing louder if you do that! Da -da -da -da. What's the happy scene? Oh wait, you're never happy, Natsuki! Now where are you? Can I go make cookies? <laughs> Sayori, you're usually the one who's thinking about it, not me. <laughs> Sayori. Uh, yes, I'm always hungry, but that doesn't mean you have to be a little butt. Honestly, for a moment, I thought you were going to call me a bitch. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you two stop bickering. <laughs> Maybe that will help us understand where your bad feelings are coming from. Oh, wait. Bad feelings come from you all the time. You have no happy feelings towards people or yourself. Uh, Sayori, who hurt you? <laughs> you did! Um, I've been sitting here reading dialogue. <laughs> if anyone, I hurt Natsuki. Sorry, Natsuki, but Sayori, jeez, you're big. <laughs> Good gosh! <laughs> relentless! <laughs> Sayori is being relentless today, y'all. I got no answer. You win. You win that. Qu you, 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 the questioner goes to Pink Fox today. <laughs> anyway. Well, I was happy the way things were before we had to have that conversation yesterday. What part of that conversation made you upset? Oh, wait. Aren't you always upset? Yeah, because everyone around me just pisses me off because they try to look down on me. Nobody tries to look down on you. You look down on yourself. That is not entirely wrong, actually. On Natsuki's part? Yeah. What is he? Why? What is? Was he Yuri being mean about the manga? Maybe it's because she used to read it all the time and she didn't. She grew out of it. 
Were you listening to the last video or something? <laughs> yes, I was in the last video. Oh. Which one was? It must have been the one before that. Never mind. Maybe. I doubt it, though. She. <sighs> Natsuki, out. Go run through the hole and print in the door. But now it's your shape. I don't want to run through that. Natsuki, out. Yeah! <laughs> My friends and other people make fun of manga all the time. But I just brush it off and ignore them. Well, maybe you shouldn't always brush off what Yuri thinks. She tries to talk some sense in you and be friends with you, and this is how you react. Don't piss Sayori off. <laughs> <laughs> but something about it really got to me this time. I hate that I'm letting that happen. Is it because it came from Yuri? Of course it is. I feel like this accusation has been thrown out by Suriori like 12 times within the past 60 seconds. Shut up, Natsuki! That wasn't Natsuki talking. I know. No? Why would that matter? Because she's supposed to be your damn best friend! No. Never. In a billion years, never. <laughs> I mean, Natsuki, are you saying she is trying to be your... Are you... Natsuki, what's going through that little head of yours? Well... Oh, boy. Me... Ugh. Wait, you guys going kissy-kissy makeup? Huh? Probably! That's all you know how to do! Are you burning Natsuki <laughs> out of the middle of nowhere? Next! <laughs> I just... I hate that she thinks she's so much better than me. Just because she likes to pretend to be all sophisticated. Now you're making no sense, Natsuki. First She's you say you want- She's She is sophisticated. She doesn't just act like she is. But you want to know why she thinks she's better than you? Because she thinks that you are immature! So she's in the church now. I said immature. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's what it is. At least other people decide that they don't like me. Or manga or whatever. But Yuri acts like she's too good to even give it a chance. I mean, technically she's already given it a chance. That's why. I'm not sorry! Off, Sayori! Shut up! Well... No, am I kidding? I should just say the word. Fuck off, Sayori! Fuck off, Natsuki! Well, why don't they both kiss while they're at it? Everyone deserves another chance! I gave you another chance! Yeah, at this point, they might as well just kiss and do some stuff in the classroom. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll continue. Don't hate me for the bad Sayori voice. <laughs> Yeah, exactly! Natsuki! I know I do a bad voice, come on! Thank you, Natsuki! You frit you, Natsuki! <sighs> Did you give Yuri's books a chance? <laughs> After this? Obviously not. Okay. What about before this? Well... No. <laughs> you know what? Yes, I, I'm gonna listen to before. Bye! I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump through the hole. The hole in the door is shaped like Yuri now. I'm gonna reshape it like myself. Ow! Does that hurt? But let's try that. Ow! Natsuki, that's not the door. That's the wall. Sorry. Natsuki, come on! I'll do it until I get bored! <laughs> Which won't take very long. Oh my. Um. <laughs> we got problems here. But if you actually keep an open mind, 
then it's not hard to realize that a story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I see. But you know, I like your books. Yeah, but you like manga more, right? Oh, God. This is a competition now, apparently. Come on! Am I going to have to do this? Am I going to have to suck you both in the face so you'll actually get along? Maybe, 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 maybe we should just make up. Sayori shakes her head. I like them both. I like them in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's really honest and fun and easy to just let go with. And the fantasy has a lot to interpret and, under and uncover. And it's really rewarding to have some good quiet time together with it. But the most important thing is that both of, well, the, both the manga and the fantasy are true to themselves. That's a really good way of putting that, actually. Good job, Sayori. Natsuki, get out! So, I love them both. Oops. I'm gonna push the other button. I think there's room for both of them to be in the same club together. I just feel like maybe, maybe they have more in common than you would think. Think about it, Natsuki. She's actually... Oh, wow. That's... I'm going to turn the volume up on this one a little bit. That's too high. Okay, volume's up a bit. Just for the time being. Natsuki? How do you get along so well with everyone? I bitch smack them until they agree to get along. Then I'll just, if they argue, I will smack them even harder the next time. And then the next time, some of them turn out to enjoy it, so I leave them be. But the, you know what that's at? Well, like this! Ow! Oh my gosh! Actually, that felt kind of good. Natsuki! I'm just getting to fight with people. At first, it was with Monica, and I was new to the club. Then with you, and now it's Yuri. I'm always like, oh, that person is being such a jerk. They just realize that then we could at least get along. Nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the, the reality. That everybody's just a jerk to me because nobody likes me. Holy shit. I don't know why. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. Natsuki. Sorry, puts a comforting hand on Sayori's shoulder. <laughs> you know, it's what Sayori did was this. It's okay. It's okay. Everything is going to be just fine. Okay, readjusting. There we go. Everything is just fine, Sayori. I know you're talking to yourself, but everything is okay. <laughs> you're a wonderful person. You deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has different ways they like to communicate, you know? And sometimes that makes it harder for us to understand each other. Yeah, yeah. I think that sometimes, sometimes we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same kinds of communication. And it feels like you magically connect with them. <clears throat> but other times, even if both people are really nice, it's easy for them to misunderstand each other or to get the communication wrong. It's something that he already struggles with a lot, too be really hard. It takes a lot of, like, reflection and self-awareness and vulnerability. Oh, for the love of you, just kiss already! I batted that one. Vulnerability. 
Fish have to be the strongest. Okay, that's Ross. What do you mean? What's more about that part of you? Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to people being mean to me. Like my friends and I guess my dad. Everyone called this from a mile away. I've played the original version deep, like gone through everything in the original version. It never ever talks about the fact that her dad's brutal to her. But there's your proof right there. This game literally just confirmed what everybody was suspecting. Like my don't get good grades. Or even stupid things like if my room isn't clean. Oh wait. Oh. That ca if that's the case, then it's just in her head. Hey, Sayori, could you smack her upside the head for me? Ow! What the hell, Sayori? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. So what am I going... So what am I going to do? Cry about it? I didn't let myself get upset. I was just letting them win. I'm better than that. Better than all of them. So, things always have to be everyone else's fault. Man. Feels like if something goes wrong, there's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault, then I just get really angry and I find ways to blame everything else instead. Do you see yourself as better than Yuri? I said that. I would just sound really full of myself. No. Our thoughts and our feelings are two different things. Even if we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them if we want to learn more about themselves. That's part of vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have feelings that we don't like. Damn! Why the hell is Sayuri not a psychologist? I... I hate that. Feelings make me a bad person. No! Sorry, smack her upside the head again. Okay! Ow! What the heck? Whoa! Sayori, you're much closer now. Oh, I know. Uh, okay, anyway. My feelings just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. She's a judgmental know-it-all who's stuck in her edgy face that I'm just way above that garbage. She's basically thinking... Ah, okay, right. Now I gotta readjust this. Okay. We're good. She's... You're basically acting like her, then. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. You are not your... You are not your feelings. But... You are not your feelings. Say that to yourself out loud. Fine. I'm not my feelings. The way that I like to picture it is that those feelings are like your roommate. I like my roommates, damn it! You live in the same house and you gotta see each other every day. Well, that's me and my fiance, and I love her. And then again, I'm not exactly out of par with my feelings, so I guess I have a different situation. And even if you can ignore each other most of the time, you're gonna run into each other every now and then, and it's gonna make you feel like poop. And I'm gonna stop talking like that, because Pink Fox just entered the room. Yeah. You better get over here before I continue. Yeah, your, your Sayori voice is terrible. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not a woman, damn it! But you have feminine sides. And I mean that in the sensitive dude type I, way. I, I, I know. I know. <laughs> Moving on! Okay, time so to... the other option is to get to know each other. Oh, wait! You like to get mean before you get to know each other. Ooh, Sayori, I think we're getting pretty close. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay. All right, you two get a room. I mean, we could. We already have a room. 
not you and me. <laughs> Sayori and Natsuki, damn it. We can communicate and learn from each other, and maybe even help each other change for the better. Oh, you're just mean all the time. You don't want to change for the better. Yeah. Now, now. Sayori, please don't think that way. Does that help you understand? Huh? I never understand my feelings. Actually, is that what she ends up saying? How do you know so much about this close stuff? Close enough. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's pretty damn close. <laughs> because they're basically her feelings. I just have a roommate that can... It's, it's really hard to get along with. She has to live with her parents? She's comparing... You missed this part, but she's comparing roommates to feelings. Uh, Treat your feelings as if they're roommates is something she said earlier. Oh, then, yeah, I can relate to Sayori. There you go. There it oh, is. Depression. <sighs> depression? But you're, like, the happiest person I know. That's a face that I put on. I am not my feelings. I want to be a good person like you. But you Aww. can't be. You Not don't know speed. how to be. That's just an ass thing to say. <laughs> how dare you, Sayori? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. You're, you are a good person, Natsuki. Oh, you little sweetheart. Kiss me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> of course I will. There. That was... No one saw that, right? No, good people. You and Yuri and Monica. Okay, Sayuri. And I think Yuri will eventually learn that about you. By the way, if that goes... If my phone goes off, ignore it. Um... It's an alarm as a reminder, but don't worry about it. We'll get to it after the video because it is kind of important. Anyway, moving on. Natsuki remains silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Just let it run. It's okay. It's just like, not, not, never mind. Now, so, now Pink Fox is like, nah, I'm turning that off. I'm turning that bitch off. At least for right now. Yeah, I'll turn it back on later. Despite Sayuri's kind reassurance... A complicated mixture of pain and sadness seems to fill her, as though flowing from a wound inside her. Was it a result of her vulnerability? No, it wasn't as though she was inflicted a, a wound after becoming vulnerable. It was as though she began to rediscover an old wound. One that cannot simply be bandaged and left alone any longer. Okay, that's one feeling I've had before. You shall not have it ever again, my dear. You shall not pass this you feeling. Shall not. Okay. Yuri, Yuri, what did you do in here? I can't tell what you're aiming for there. I gave her the sassy teenage girl sound <laughs> voice and now Like, oh my god! What are you doing over here? I was looking for ya! Ah, okay, I I see the voice you're doing now. I... Please don't yell at me. Oh, I'm not going to yell at you. I just want to say that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It was unfair for me to put everyone on the spot like that. Yeah, no kidding. No shiz. Next time I won't try to jump in and solve everyone's problems. I guess it's just a bad habit of mine. Yeah. No I'm shit. Yeah, yeah. You're not mad at me? I thought you were the one that was mad at me. Apparently not. Apparently everybody's confused. You got Sayori and Natsuki in the other room probably kissing right now. Probably. <laughs> And um, now, you, now you got these two who are just like, you're mad at me. No, you're mad at me. No, you're mad at me. Fine. Fine. Good. <laughs> and then us doing a sunny with the chance thing. <laughs> okay. I was, I was so that's me. Oh. I was so awful yesterday. Yuri curls up, 
recalling the details of the argument. I can't even have a normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. Hold on, that's not what happened at all. That sounds very familiar. Let's talk about this, okay? Yuri pauses for a second, then manages a nod. Monica takes a seat next to her on the staircase. I'm having a lot of negative thought patterns, and I can't get away from them. What kinds of negative thought patterns? Patterns? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, everyone hates me. Especially Natsuki. Natsuki don't hate you. She loves you. She apparently loves every single girl in the building. She'd rather have a girl orgy. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> You're right, Monica. It is terrible. I'm sorry, but it just seems like it sometimes. Good thing this series is for 18 plus. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise you'd be screwed. Yeah, you wouldn't like to hear that. I don't think Noski hates you. How do you know? Because I am her, damn it! Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> I don't know. Well, because I'm a sentient being and I know all things. Well, all me. <laughs> We got ourselves a sentient fan on the loose. <laughs> Capture it and make sure it don't get away again. <laughs> Monica thinks back to the time that she has her... Found herself in an alteration with Noski. Yes, that. And how a display of maturity from Monica was enough for Noski to reevaluate her own Okay. I think I think Natsuki is just naturally defensive. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. I think she acts me when she feels like you need to protect yourself. Yeah. Again, pretty damn accurate. That's how bullies work. Well in general. Well that'll be a topic for a different day. Or maybe today, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I would make it know, later. She's a bad person in fact I think she can be really thoughtful and considerate she just will I guess the way it works is she must receive some degree of kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it alright oh but that means the button is on me no yep no Yes. I don't know how to say things that make people like me. Every time I open my mouth, I just... Yuri shakes her head and herself and tugs on her hair. It's actually more of a cumulative thing. It's not one person or the other, it's cumulative. It's okay, Yuri. You don't need to beat yourself up, boo-boo. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Apparently we got two different lesbian groups here. <laughs> we we got Sayori and Natsuki, and now we got Monica and Yuri. Y'all have fun, you hear? Y'all come back to the bar now, you hear? Maybe we'll get another orgy. Maybe we'll get another four-person orgy down here. I think anyone would like you if they had the chance to get to know you. <laughs> you're not you're not exactly defending your case very well, Monica. Well, unfortunately, the opposite is true. Apparently, Yuri, on the other hand, denies it. That's why I'm not talkative anymore in the first place. Anymore? When was she talkative? Because everyone used to think I was weird and talk about me behind my back. Actually, people have been doing that to Natsuki a lot. That's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. Natsuki even said she found it more respectable when people speak their mind. So I did, 
then she hates me anyway. I mean, there's a specific way to speak your mind that makes it okay. That was enough to confirm my fears. I know. You want to talk as Monica. Go ahead. But, but, Sayori and I like you. And we've gotten to know you a lot by now, right? Mm. Yuri doesn't seem to have a response. I'm kind of glad you took over there because I almost said the wrong word. Does seem to have a response? Oh. Hey, what do you think of Natsuki? I, I don't think about her. I'm too busy thinking about you and your perfect skin and hair. Oh God, Yuri, get take her to a room instead, would you? <laughs> That's not what I meant, really, but okay. Uh, I, I just. I was just wondering if you had an opinion of her. This, this episode has become a dual opinion episode. That's all I can say. They have opinions, all right. Yeah. Lesson to the people out there. Do not let Nostalgic Dave do the voices for Sayori and Monica. <laughs> I can he hear you, you know. Them up. I know. That was my intention. <laughs> <laughs> also, you turned the power off on this one. Whoops. Oh, well. Bye. Daisy. Too. Well, that's it. That's uh, about uh, about uh, about. Uh. <laughs> I'm here. Was it? Ah, oh, great. Look who you summoned this <laughs> Gosh, dang it! Blame your bobbleheadedness. Your head is too big for your body sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. I don't know if that's good or bad. I love you. Dotsky seems to bring out the worst in me. I feel really ashamed of it. That uh, makes no sense. Love you too. I like to think of myself as a fairly sophisticated person. Too sophisticated. Sophisticated. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, 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 very sophisticated. Eat my waffle! Shut up, Bob. Bob. Go back to sleep. Bob, Bob, that's not a waffle. That's my remote controller. What are you doing with that? Give it back! Go back to sleep, Bobby. I don't want to sleep. I'm... Okay, Dave, now wake up. That's not me. That's Bob. <laughs> I meant nostalgic Dave, wake up. Again, that's not me. That's Bob! So for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior, despite my tastes... It's just the worst kind of insult coming from someone like her. Well, you know what else is the worst kind of insult um, like her? It's her saying I'm motionless, which she has said in the past. No, she says that in the future. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Maybe our past, but their future. <laughs> their very distant future. But everyone else seems to like her. So the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong again. Oh, for the love of Pete. Oh, for the love of Pete's sake. For the love of Yuri. For the love of Yuri, wake up. For the love of Monica, wake your ass up. For the love of darling, wake up. Uh, Yuri, what are you doing? Yuri, Yuri, stop, Yuri. Yuri, stop it. What are you doing, Yuri? <laughs> what if I told you about putting your finger next to my face? I will bite it off. I've I've bit my mom's finger. Don't yeah, when it's I in won't. front when it's in front of your mouth. I did it on your cheek. Still it's kinda of tickling. You're ticklish everywhere then. No I'm not. Anyway. My feelings about her are wrong. Oh, for the love of Okay. Am I wrong? That's Yuri. I know. Still. Then do it. Blech. Can I give a reaction? No. And I'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and inconsequential. Now it's your turn. No, Yuri. Nah. Nah, Yuri. Nah. <laughs> Feelings are never wrong. Well, they're not right. Surprise! 
My feelings are in the mail. No wonder I can't feel them. I need to go <laughs> grab them. I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Oh, for the love of Pete. You're not supposed to <laughs> condone that, Monica. Feelings are never right or wrong, you know? <laughs> just it. Ugh. They're just, they're just a state of being that we don't always have control over, you know? Actually, yeah, that is true. But that doesn't mean they have to control us. Yeah. I feel like that's something I learned around when the first time I started the club. We can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things. Yeah? Or we can, you know, just acknowledge that we exist and try to understand them better. We can acknowledge that we exist. They Not exist. the feelings. Fuck the feelings. The feelings don't exist. We just need to I acknowledge they, that. I'm they, okay? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I think you those... can't say any words right today, so zip it. Well, why are you not making fun of me for it then, Pink Fox? Because I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> there it is. There joke. it is. There it is. Hey, I didn't get to read that. I th actually, yes, you did. Okay, she's getting messages. Um. I'm about. How it's about time you how you handle them. Wrong button. And I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for teamwork. Is it now? Yeah. Apparently. Yuri wears a dejected expression. She also wears a psychotic expression. No. Yes. You make it sound so easy. Because it is, damn it! You're so mature. No shits! I'm a computer program she don't know that actually yes she do but she don't yet or maybe she do i don't know i know mo and so good with people bullshit because i'm a robot i'm a robot i'm a computer program robot <laughs> well then i feel like such a child in comparison Oh, Yuri, what the hell is going through that thing skull of yours? Absolutely nothing. I'm I just hit it in the. from perfect. You are. We're all just equally as perfect in our own stupid, fun ways. All right. I learned skills. They didn't come naturally to me either. It's really hard to, like, reflect on yourself and separate your feelings from your thoughts. I love how you and I basically have polar opposite voices for each character. I know, it's kind of weird. I just want to be a good person. Well, I think it takes a good person to get this far. Yeah, okay, I can concur with that. That's not good enough. I want to be able to communicate it to her. Communicate what? Yeah, communicate what? How I feel. How it makes me feel frustrated and upset when she's so negative and dismissive of the things that mean so much to me. And how it... How it reminds me of me. Because I know what it's like to feel misunderstood and angry at everyone. I know that telling yourself you're better than everyone else is just a defense mechanism. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable. You're just people. I'm a sentient being. Hmm? Yes, Angel? How dare you. You are not allowed sentience. Mm. I am sentient. You better not. In IRL, yeah. I, I'm just kidding. I, I'm not I, sentient. I, 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 
I I I I I I I R R I I I I I I I R R I Baby, did I break your brain? I I I'm apparently a broken record now. Okay. I love you. But I'm just tired of getting in the way. I can't stand it when the piece is disturbed like this. But you can stand it when the piece is disturbed on your levels. No, but I can stand when the piece is disturbed by you. All right, Yuri, take it to another room. Wait, I didn't read that. Oops. Wait, was that yours or was that me? That was me. Okay, read it. Yeah, you can't focus on your aim when the piece is disturbed, right? Actually, I think you did read that. Oh. Because I... Because... The literature club should be happy for everyone. But it ain't, though, because of all the fighting. Well, that is your job, you stupid club president. Oh, you stupid, you stupid, Yuri! Oh, really? I I'll thought... smack you upside the your damn head! I thought we had a good connection, but apparently not. Yeah, you call me stupid! Well, who said I wasn't trying to... No. No, not finishing that one. Moving on. Monica looks at Yuri in adoration. Bullshit. I feel like Sayori must be rubbing off on me because I really want to hug you now. Aww. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. How can she feel? No, um... It's scripted. <laughs> I mean, well, if you wanted to, but I wouldn't really mind, so... Whoa, okay, where is this going? Monica pulls Yuri into a short embrace. So basically the... like this. <laughs> so basically exactly what we were describing is happening now. What we're doing on camera. Oh, no, 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 I meant earlier. Throughout the entire video, the whole... Yeah, that... <laughs> That's happening right now, ladies and gents. You're so gentle. That sound did not sound appropriate. None of this does anymore. Not appropriate for kids. And I love when you communicate your feelings. I feel lucky to get to see that side of you. And I'm sure Noski will too. Call it, Orgy. Call it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Call it. What if it's not an Orgy? I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter. What a great idea. She'll throw it away. Maybe. You never know. Just because I'm not good at talking, especially under pressure. I always let my feelings get the best of me. And I forget to say all the important things, and I say things I don't mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way to communicate. Yeah? Yuri's face hardens with determination. People don't naturally gravitate towards me like they do for you and Sayori. My personality just isn't suited for that. And I wouldn't want it to be. But something I've learned is that friendship don't... Fr Friendships don't always just magically appear. Out of the net. Yeah, that. I can't speak. For instance, I never would have seen myself making friends with someone like Sayori. We're opposite in a lot of ways. What, are you saying she's way too perky for her own good? She is. I know. But I'm friends with her because she put so much effort into understanding me so that we can get along i think it was the same with you you both gave me a lot of time and patience i wonder if if she feels the same way not sudden realization here he nods i always thought that if i wanted to make more friends i had to be somebody that i'm not but there's a type of person or a magical formula I have to follow in order to make someone like me. 
That's just like me to think that. Always so occupied with myself that I fail to understand other people. Stop failing to understand people and maybe you can have more friends. Well. Well. Yuri shakes her head. She denies your claim. Friendship happens when you think about the other person. When you offer time and effort to understand them and respect them and trust them. That they will, they will always want to be a good person. That's what I learned through my observations in the literature club. Observations? That's actually pretty accurate to reality. Monica is caught by surprise. I know. Extensive episode today. Yuri has always kept to herself so much that it's so unusual to her to hear her suddenly talking about the club like this. But Yuri gently smiles to herself. You always let me listen to your thoughts about people. Sayori too. And it makes me happy because I learn a lot of things. That's so sweet. I had no idea how much that meant to you. Monica never thought much of it. But in the past weeks, Yuri always seemed to be especially attentive when it came to the problems and concerns of others. Always wanting to listen and learn more about her friends in the club. Is that it? It's true. Sayori and Monica are naturally more comfortable with other people and can more easily work through situations of conflict. Yeah. With what's coming soon. They can. They just are bare, too, way too sensitive to deal with it sometimes. Let's put it that way. But that doesn't make them better people. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses. And the capacity to improve. And the first step towards improving oneself is reflecting and self-awareness. It's something that Yuri never gave herself enough credit for. But that Monica can re- recognize as an incredible trait. And with that, confidence in the club is restored. I, I, Are you joking? How long is this? I, I thought that was the end. Yeah, I wish. And I can't save over you, so... <clears throat> a very shy girl with long, pretty hair is wandering the bustling lunchtime hallways, her fists pressed into her collarbone. The literature club president's classroom. She stands at the door, glancing all around her before peering inside. Monica is sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends. Yeah, as expected, this was a bad idea after all. Suddenly, Monica glances towards the door, making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Yeah, that's that's Yuri. Before she can regain composure and decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. Called it. Yuri, what a surprise Sandy to see you during lunch. Yuri squeaks a response. Please help me. Boy, is everything okay? Apparently not. Yuri shakes her head. I don't know how to write letters. Really? This is why we're extending the video, because you don't know how to write? Good job, Yuri. Uh, thank goodness, I thought there was some kind of emotion. Smack side, or Yuri upside the damn head. I smack all of them upside the head. Monica briefly glances over her shoulder at her other friends. You want some help? We can find and go find an empty classroom or something. Is that okay? I feel bad taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine. I promise we weren't doing anything. One sec, though. Monica trots back into her classroom, says something like, I gotta go, to her friends, then grabs a pen off her desk before returning to Yuri. Okay, let's find somewhere quiet. Good grief. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is gonna be a long episode. This is the longest episode of the series right here. This is the only one that's possibly gonna go towards an hour. 
Next episode's gonna be 20 minutes. Guarantee that. Yuri yeah. nods. Yeah, because of the length of this one. I'm gonna have to make it shorter. Yuri nods and follows Monica as the two of them set off. How are you today? Huh? Me? Well, yes. Oh. oh. Gosh, I'm sorry. I was just caught off guard. I'm doing well today. Just tired. Never seem to get enough sleep during the week. Well then. How come? I don't know. I think it's because I'm easily distracted. I get really sucked into things and then start neglecting the time. Well. Okay, sentient human. Me too. I do that too. <laughs> hey, this classroom is empty. Let's go in here. Oh boy. Why go? Why is she going to the classroom with the sentient being? trying to get murdered no or doesn't remember this takes place before the main timeline oh yeah the timeline I went through. the timeline you're talking about hasn't even happened yet in fact these stories are completely non-canon to that oh boy after peering inside Monica opens the classroom door and the two of them enter let me guess, Natsuki's inside. Yuri's moment of relaxation ends. She watches as Monica pulls two chairs up to the same desk, then obeys as Monica beckons her to take a seat. She stares down at the empty desk. Are you nervous? Don't be. No, I just meant you yelling in my ears, kid. How? Welcome to YouTube. I have to be, otherwise nothing is heard. I don't want to do this. We don't. We don't have to. We can come up with something else. Yuri shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to take initiative. Gosh, you really must be determined. Must be. I know it's how hard it is for you to step out of your comfort zone. Be sure to encourage you. Yuri pushes through her anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper from her notebook. Then she picks up her poem. Pen. She picks up her pen. That thing. She picks up her poem. Okay, we're finally nearing the end of this. Jeez. Hey, you're left-handed. That's me. That does, that, the only thing that image does though is support exactly what we were talking about earlier. Hold on. <laughs> push that for me, please. Did you hold it down when I pushed that? Okay, you're good. All right, next. Huh? Yeah. No, I don't have to worry about, oh, that's you. No, I don't have to worry about bumping your arm. Well then. Monica playfully rubs her sh- Like they flirting. I think they flirting. I think they flirting too, and I'm getting weirded out by it now. Well, only person who should be flirting is you and I. Apparently not. Okay, <gasps> next. Sorry, I'm just being silly, I guess. B.S., Monica. B.S. Anyway, how about we start by listing different things you want to say to I her? wouldn't be touching this if I were you. They'll probably, they can... See how he hears that? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> no touchy. Otherwise, it'll hear it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not touching it. You can hear it. Okay, now she's tampering. It's bad, <laughs> bad, bad, Pink Fox. I will spray you with a water bottle. You will? Anyway. Uh, how about we start by listing the different things you want to say to her? And you might want to move your leg before I fall flat on my ass. I can't. 
I can't move it any further back than it already is. Hmm. <laughs> Yuri, thanks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Oh, it's okay. How about some of the things you said to me yesterday? What? <sighs> Never mind. I guess I'll try. Yuri thinks for a moment longer, her tension evident. Then, she writes the word reflection. This is about my reflection on our behavior. The key question is why we act like this towards each other, but I've been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. That's me! Yes, it is. Okay, flirtatious Nancy. So, Yuri, thanks. I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've taken the time to understand my needs and respect my interests. No shit. Meh. That's, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what she's doing. The same goes for Natsuki too. We started off as pretty hostile towards each other because I was so worried about getting what I wanted. But she just wanted to be respected more than anything else. Once I stopped making it all about me, she was able to do the same. I want to do that too. So what kind of things do you want to do for her? I want... This I know the video's long, hon. You don't have to do the rest of it if you don't want to, but... Okay, but I'm opening dinner. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, after this video, we're definitely having like a 20 minute. Who am I kidding? I can't do it. Well, the next time we do main story, we're doing a 20 minute episode to start. Uh, stupid lengthy episode. This is going to end up being an hour and a half at this rate. What the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's totally your fault. Not the developers who created the story. I want to do the same thing for her that I like to receive. I like it when... I like it when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. I like it when my feelings are taken seriously. And I like when you and Sayori trust that I want to be a good person. Even when I'm not doing a good job at it. Uh, Monica, I'm going to do her voice, so let's write those things down. Oh. Yeah, too late. Okay. Oh, look. Yuri oh. writes some things down. Okay. I can't sit right there. Well, if you're going to keep getting up and down. Yuri writes some oh. things down. This feels weird. We need to grab <laughs> future reference. Future me, get a freaking second chair. <laughs> yeah, we can afford one. Yuri writes some things down. I think the most important thing to remember here is that Noski is feeling vulnerable. She would want to make sure the letter puts her first. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard when you're feeling hurt, but it never helps to just tell someone all the things that they okay. go wrong. You know what? <laughs> Here, move. Scat. Shoe. On the chair. Are you going to sit on my lap? No, I'm going to stand up. No, I'll sit on my lap. It makes it easier. Not really. It, it just want to pocket. <laughs> There we go. See, not much. This is not going to be much. Actually, it is. <laughs> you say so. I think first you have to make sure that you're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit the things you could do better. Then finally, you ask what you would do and like in return. How does that sound for your structure? It could be three paragraphs, one for each of those points. Holy fuck, this is a long... I like that. Your My thoughts... Well, it's... That's odd. why I said I was gonna say Take your wallet on your 
your pocket then. No, it's still gonna hurt for me to sit no, on it's not. It was just that. <laughs> there we go. My thoughts were so disorganized. I had no idea how to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Oh, stop it. You've done so much more than I have, you know. You spend so much time reflecting and being open-minded, and that's the hardest thing for anyone to want to do. Um, okay. All I'm doing is helping you to put it to a piece of paper. So I think you're the amazing one. Oh, geez. Stop flirting and get a room. Mm. <sighs> uh... Okay, they're holding hands now, so... They might as well be. They are. Nope. Monica gives... Monica, Monica, Yuri, Yuri. They're not holding hands. Monica give Yuri's hands a quick squeeze. So she squeezes her hand. They're holding hands. Yeah. But as she lets go, she's caught by surprise when Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hands into place. See, okay, told now, you! Now they're holding told hands. you! Now they're holding hands. What told the you! Okay, seriously, leave. Bye. Get. Get a room. For a while, they sit like that in silence, save. Oh, my gosh. Your bony butt. Told you. <laughs> Yesterday, you told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. Okay, I'm standing up. You sit, what was that? You sit, I stand. Yeah, you sit, I stand. Grr. Fine. Blah. What was that? The thing about how feelings aren't right or wrong, that they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. It made me think about how a person's behavior isn't always just how they decided to be. It's also made up of their past experiences and their insecurities. I think that helps me see other people as actual people, rather than as insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Okay. Is that how you feel about Natsuki? Probably. Yeah, Yuri nods. But in reality, everyone is always trying their best. And everyone wants to be happy. Too long of an episode. She's so annoyed, she's like just leaving. I'm done with the damn episode! Okay. Monica peers over at Yuri's paper. But to her surprise, Yuri pulls it in closer, partially covering it with her arm. <laughs> I had to be able to read it to help out, you know? I can't do that voice. That's why I do, like, a sassy teenage girl for her. It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now. After being able to talk to you about it, now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I'd really prefer others not to read it. Yuri laughs softly to herself. A rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear... I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. I somehow keep... Okay, I'm just in a normal voice, but... Somehow keep finding ways to butt into this whole thing. I've done enough damage. <laughs> but it's also been so wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, but... Okay. Flirting. I will always be terrible at these things. People are just so incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being one. <laughs> but listening to you so much has really helped me make sense of some things. So just don't call it damage, please. Monica gives Yuri a gentle smile. I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy peaks. 
I only got those real friends who value me. Is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> I can still I still can't tell with you. Ah, you're getting better at it. Sorry. How oh, I love it. Please never change. Oh my gosh. Okay, get a room. As you wish. It might as well be. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to vanish? Eh, lift up. Thank you. Will you be able to vanish before the end of the... Before the end of the day, probably. But I don't want to come to the club and sit to the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Okay. Here he nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course I promise. She was right there when you wrote it. Wait till after to tell me. <laughs> She whispered something in my ear twice, and because of this, I didn't hear either or. Wait till after. Thank you. Yuri exhales, and the two stand up. I'll message you when it, it's ready. Monica nods. Okay, okay. Good luck. I'm here if you need me. Yuri returns a nod, and the two depart. Are we Is done? Over? Is it over? Thank, Thank freaking you. jeez! Okay. After about an hour and 15, 12 minutes. So, either this is going to be a two-part or a split video, which I might do, just for the sake of time. So, you'll either see a recording, two, two separate weeks worth, or well, one recording's worth in two separate weeks. Or, this will just be an extensive, the longest episode of any playlist, any series on this freaking channel to date. We'll see. Good luck with trying to figure that out baby yeah it won't be that hard anyway gonna leave this video here thanks for watching this episode of doki doki literature club plus guys apparently there are new pictures and stuff but we'll check that out later if you like this video make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel have a suggestion for a visual novel you'd like to see on here let us know in the comments below want to check out one that's done prior to this click the link in the bottom right corner try and take it there or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across from uh, our heads, since her head is technically still right there, and link My will take you right to those. Here. Yeah, well, now it's right there. Ah. In the meantime, we're going to head off. we got to eat food. We've Thanks for watching this. something important. That, too. We'll catch you guys uh, in another ride. Bye. Bye-bye.